All right. So all of the personal readings have been completed except for one. Uh, if you're interested in a personal reading, my information is in the description box. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what is going on. So I am going to do... Um, I did want to make a statement. So they wanted to tell... I got this message yesterday um, when I was out and about because, you know, I think about a lot of things, right? And I always want to make sure that I'm doing the best for the collective, right? I have to do what's best for you. You may not like it. You may not even want to hear it. But I put out what I'm instructed to put out, okay? I'm only a messenger, right? That's it. Just an oracle. That's all. I am like, I'm like the router, right? <laughs> I'm like the router for the message, right? If you think of it like a Wi-Fi, I always compare myself and think of it like an internet connection, like Wi-Fi signal. I'm just the router. That's it, <laughs> okay? So, um, so basically, like, don't come for me, <laughs> right? Because this is just what I'm... No judgment, and you guys know, like, if you've ever had a personal reading, I don't judge you guys, right? Like, I'm a human just like you. I've made mistakes, plenty of mistakes <laughs> in my life, okay? So there's probably nothing that you can tell me or share with me that I have not heard or perhaps done myself, okay? Um, and I'm very open and honest about that, about who I am, okay? Um, but I also, the message basically was that, and then the message was, if, if the message is not resonating with you, don't stew on it. Don't be afraid that it's going to happen to you, right? you got to think about this. This could also be a collective message, right? So think about this. If I'm reading for a general energy, okay, general divine feminine energy, general divine masculine energy, this could be, remember how sometimes we get look at the bigger picture? That means not just in your life, but as a world, as a planet, okay? Think about that. We are speaking of divine feminine energy, divine masculine energy, okay? The world is in an imbalance right now. You can look, all you have to do is turn on the news and see that the imbalance is there, okay? The world is trying to balance out right now with energies, and there are opposing forces trying to not make that happen, okay? low vibrational forces that want to be in control, want to have dominion, want to keep this in a place of hell. This is hell on earth right now. This is the lower dim dimension frequency of hell is what we are right now. Um, and if you don't want to hear that message, then you can click off, <laughs> okay? But this is my channel and these are my personal beliefs. And all I do is tell you what I'm intuitively guided to tell you, okay? Furthermore, I am not a love and light star seed okay i am a what some is known as um some so there's two definitions of dark empaths there's dark empaths that that try to hurt people and they are psychic but instead of doing well they work for the opposite team right they work for the ops right <laughs> I, I pick up all this lingo from my kids. It's funny. They laugh at me when they hear me saying this. They think I'm the biggest nerd. But anyways, you guys know I have to make be funny and make you guys laugh because laughter is will elevate your vibration, okay? That's why I'm a goofball. That's why I joke. I am a jokester, okay? Anyways, furthermore, um, so that is like, you have to you have to understand like that's the message i'm going to put out right because that's what i believe okay i lost my train of thought there for a second because i was thinking about something else they bombard me with with messages it's wild okay um so let me sit here for a second and clear my thoughts there is a lot going on that i don't discuss on my channel there's a lot that I believe that I don't discuss on my channel because it is not beneficial for me to do so, okay? Um, and I'm not guided to either. I'm told to not talk about it. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, but what I was saying, okay, now they, they, 
So the bigger thought, the bigger picture, okay? We're talking about energies, right? The world, we are creating heaven on earth, right? I told you guys this from the beginning. This is much bigger than just your life. This is all of our lives. This is our children's lives. This is our generational lives. This is, you know, the choices that we're making, okay? So keep that in mind. I'm not going to sit here and mother you guys and, and do all that, but a lot of people get mad at me when I don't tell the truth, not say tell the truth, no. A lot of people get mad at me when I don't tell them what they want to hear, okay? A lot of people get mad at me when I tell the truth. That's not what I'm here to do. I'm here to tell you the truth, whether you want to hear it or not, okay? If you come to me and ask me a question, all I can do is tell you what I see. That's it, okay? And a lot of people have a hard time swallowing that, okay? And that's okay, right? But I can't tolerate abuse, okay? And I won't. And I won't tolerate stalking and internet bullying. Um, this is happening to me on my shop right now. There is someone who is um, imbalanced. I know who this person is. I know why they're doing it. I, it's way deeper than what anybody realizes. And I know that. I knew it. I received messages about this exact thing happening to me four months ago. Because I can prophesy my life. I have been prophesying my life for um, a couple years now. Okay, basically what that means is I get visions of things, and I'm not talking about with cards. I don't need cards. I receive visions about my life that are, that are coming towards me that will happen to me uh, as far as a year before it happens, okay? And I feel like this happens because I am running a tarot shop, and I that is a way for my higher power, which is God, because that's what I believe in. That's what I call my higher power, God. Um I believe in God gives me this time to process this. And I do. I process it. I, I feel these, these things before it occurs, and it allows me to go through a grieving process. It allows me to deal with everything before it occurs, and it basically prepares me for it. So I know it's coming. So it's not like, like that, right? This is God. This is how God prepares me. Um, and sometimes they're not good. Sometimes they're, the prophecies are good. Sometimes they're not. Okay. Um, and there's nothing I can do about it. Um, when I don't really read for myself, sometimes I may ask one or two questions, but my vision is blurred when I read for myself because the way that I receive messages for myself is through visions. Okay. And messages. So... Um, but when you guys get readings for me and I see something, it doesn't mean that it's set in stone. It means that things can change. People change, right? Readings are energy. So what I'm reading is people's thoughts, intentions, and emotions. And we all know that that can change, right? That can change from one minute to the next. That can change from one week to the next. I don't know, right? All I can see is energy. I can't see Everything. The only thing I'm I can see is what I'm allowed to see. You, you I want you guys to understand that too. Sometimes um, you guys ask me questions and um, about why why I got a specific answer, and I don't know. I don't. Um, I wasn't raised in this belief system. I was raised Catholic. So what I am now. <laughs> I'm still learning a lot of what I am, okay, and what my abilities are and what my gifts are and what I've gone through to get here and all the trauma that I was put under in order for this to happen to me. Um, I've been working through that, okay? I didn't ask for this. I didn't, well, some people believe you sign up for this, but I don't know if I necessarily believe that. Okay, and I go against the grain a lot. You guys know a lot of stuff that I say is not of the norm, but that's what I believe. And sometimes they may change. My belief systems may change, and and you know I may change my mind on something, and that's okay because I'm human. But as far as where I am now, I don't know how I 
how I feel about that. Like, I don't think I signed up for, for that. I don't. Um, not after the revelations that I have encountered. Okay. I feel like I was put here to do something else that was not divine. And I ended up saying, no, fuck you. I'm with God. Okay. Um, and that's why I feel like I made a lot of bad decisions because I was being influenced and I didn't know it. I didn't realize it. Um, these are revelations that I've had and maybe this is happening. Not maybe it is. Okay. It's happening to a lot of us. A lot of us are waking up from it. Um, a lot of us are, real a lot of us are realizing, um, a lot of things. Okay. So I just wanted to let you guys know that, right? Um, that's why I'm here. Um, my own testimony, my own story, my own, um, you know, sharing my gifts with you guys and um, helping you guys the best I can, right? Um, that's my point. That's my purpose. That's why I'm here. Um, I do do other things. I do work. I do other work, okay, because I like to keep myself busy. Um, this isn't the only thing I do. Like, I do, you know, um, other other things, right, so to make money and stuff like that. So literally the only reason why I did this shop is to help people. Like, that's it. Um, and to fulfill my, my purpose and be respectful of God and, and do what I'm supposed to do. I don't know. I felt like I needed to tell you guys that, but basically the end, the, the bottom line is you guys look at my readings from a bigger scale sometimes, right? Look at it in a worldly scale sometimes. Okay. Because sometimes the message may not be personal. It could be general, right? Cause it is a general reading, right? So it could be general energies. Okay. Sometimes it can be personal. But if the message feels completely off, try to apply it in a general sense. Okay, that was the, the message that I received yesterday. And I really needed to say that today. Okay. Um, that's it. <laughs> that's it. Um, And I always want you guys to try to connect to your intuition. Connect to your intuition. Okay. So, Spirit, what do you want to say? What is advice for Divine Feminine energy for this time? Just guidance for us, for the Divine Feminines out there. Sorceress, you are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. Okay, that's a message. Start delegating. Ask others, including Green Tara, to help you instead of trying to do everything by yourself. So people need to start meditating. People need to start asking for Green Tara's help. Okay, remember, this could be on a, on a planetary level. Okay. If this doesn't apply to you, but it can also apply to your life as well. Um, the universe is pouring, is pouring its abundance out to you. Be open to receiving prosperity. Okay, what do we have on the bottom? Endings and beginnings. Kali. The old must be released so that the new can enter. Remember, I don't know if you guys are going to remember this, but remember... A few months ago when I said something is ending and something is beginning there are two opposing forces I told you guys of a shift it's here those energies I don't remember exactly that reading but I but spirit keeps telling me about the reading they keep referring me back to that reading so I don't even know what it's called but it was not, it was based on what was happening in the world, 
or something like that, okay? And it was meant for a bigger message. This is what this is, this Kali is reminding me of right now. Endings and beginnings. The old must be released so that the new can enter. Yes, so that we can create heaven on earth. Okay. You don't even have to believe this. All you got to do is <laughs> turn on the movie. On the, on the, oh, my God. I was about to say turn on the movie. My God. Turn on the news. <laughs> turn on the news. Home. Your household situation is improving either through a move or a healthy change in the occupants. We are moving. Our home, our planet is changing. Vesta. Okay. All right. Messages for Divine Masculine. Messages for Divine Masculine. Mother Earth. High Priestess. Go outside. I knew this. I knew this. Mother Earth. You think that's a coincidence, Divine Masculine? How many times have I told you that you are, you deal with the physical realm and Divine Feminines deal with the spiritual realm? How many times have I said this? You are called upon to help with environmentalism. It doesn't necessarily mean go to college and get a degree in environmentalism. This means that you are in charge of this physical realm. You are the guardians. You are the protectors. You are the seers. You are the watchers. Okay? You watch over divine feminine. You watch over the high priestess. You are a high priest as well, but you are the muscle also. Okay. Yes, you have divine knowledge that can help others through your spiritual teaching. You are a high priest as well. Go outside. You have been indoors too long. Go outside and get some fresh air. True love. The romantic stirrings in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. Guinevere, I saw this image, okay, when I was taking my kids to school and I was driving home, there was a woman on the side of the road with a head covering, it looked like a sheet, she was homeless, it was white, and she stood out to me, and look, head covering, Guinevere. Energies will show up in people and be reflected to you in people. Pay attention, okay? That's how the universe talks to you. That's how spirits talk to you. That's how that's how your angels and guides talk to you. People encompass energies. How many times? You guys know I say that all the time. You encompass energy. Not everybody can encompass an energy, but most people can, okay? Most people encompass energies all the time. Um... You're not, not everybody can feel energies, right? Because they're not impasse. They're not portals, okay? How many times have I told you guys that I am a portal? Yes. You have to learn how to transmute that energy. Have you ever been in a situation where... For the empaths, okay, who are portals as well. Have you ever been in a situation where, um, which most of you probably are, have you ever been in a situation where you felt just angry for no reason or you, you don't like going out in public because of the way you feel? That's because you're, or you're a sponge. You're soaking up energy. You have to learn how to alchemize and transmute that, okay? A lot of autistic people and children um, go through that, okay, because they're highly sensitive. Why do you think they're angry? They deal with angry moods, upset moods. They are very awakened and in tuned more so than I am, okay? And um, I couldn't imagine that, okay? I couldn't imagine it. So they get frust flustered and frustrated very quickly. Um, 
because their body is literally trying to transmute that energy, okay? If they don't know how to, then it becomes difficult, okay? Think of a, if we want to do the Wi-Fi, think of the router having a, some kind of defect, right? Not knowing how to transmit the signal. What do you think is going to happen? It's going to break down, right? It's the same type of situation, okay? Messages for Divine Feminine. Passion. Archangel Haniel, trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career. Okay, so that's a message for somebody. These are the more personal ones, right? This could also be planetary as well in the consciousness right in the collective consciousness okay clear your space archangel jovial get rid of clutter clear the energy around you and use feng shui okay crystal clear intentions archangel michael i have been calling upon him a lot i love archangel michael um, <laughs> okay, I just got a message and it was funny is like, and if you think I look like that, you're wrong. <laughs> so, okay, I don't think Archangel Michael looks like that. Um, I don't think any of the Archangels look the way that they're depicted. That was actually pretty funny. Um, <laughs> I don't know why they, I got that message. Archangel Michael, be clear about what you desire and focus upon it without unwavering faith, or without unwavering, with unwavering faith. See, negative vibrational energy is trying to mess up my message. Um, so, yeah. Okay, this is, Archangel Michael is a very strong energy, a very strong force. And I really feel very, when I, when I deal with Archangel Michael, I feel very protected and very looked after and very, like, my grandmother used to um, talk about him when I was growing up. Like, so this energy has been around me for many years, okay? Um, I don't know. It's just something about Michael. And I always see Michael. I always see M's. It's like Archangel Michael always talks to me, letting me know that he's around me and here. Um Archangel Chamuel, excuse my pronunciations, okay? I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship, okay? So that is a message, perhaps for the collective consciousness, okay? For the collective, all right? Remember, we do have infiltrators in our lives, okay? We have infiltrators in our lives that try to pervert unions, that try to pervert um, peace in our life and they attack our love and attack our heart and attack our mind mm -mm. okay the true connection that your higher power wants you to be with is not a mental connection okay it's an emotional connection so this is what I want you to think about if you didn't have the mental connection or the tele telepathy and all of this other paranormal stuff, what would the relationship have? Get your journals out and list it. Answer the question, okay? If you did not have telepathy with your twin, okay? Or sex. No telepathy, no sex, no signs. Okay. What would you have? <laughs> I was trying to do a mic drop. Okay. Nothing. If nothing is your answer, then you already know what I'm trying to say. Well, I love him. 
does he love you? The person you think is your twin, does he love you? How do you know he loves you? How, how is he showing up? Through telepathy? Through signs? That's keeping you enslaved to him? For him to have dominion and control over you? That's not love. That's control. That's what spirit has been trying to say this whole time for months. This goes for divine masculines too. You need to ask yourself about your divine feminines. That same question, what would you have? Because if you truly loved divine feminine or divine feminine, if you truly love divine masculine, right? I'm talking to everybody at this time. You're not going to ghost somebody. You're not going to hurt them consciously and use them for sex while you're out living your life and they're not living their life. What does that look like? Look at the imbalance in that. The imbalance is, oh, I'm going to be over here and living my life with my wife while you are miserable. I know you're miserable. I'm using you for sex and support because this person doesn't give it to me. But because I'm a coward, I said it, because I'm a coward, I won't be with you. That is not from your higher power. It isn't. And I don't care how many synchronicities you get. I don't care how telepathic you are. That is not a, a real twin. That is an imposter. That is a low vibrational, probably a narcissist. That's a message for some of you. Your twin is going to show up and fight. They're going to love you. They're going to mirror you. Okay? But keep in mind, the enemy will also do the same. Right? Because they have to try and trick you. The trickster. Right? How many times have I pulled the trickster card? Think about what I'm saying. Who leads you to peace? Your higher power. Who leads you to misery? And being imprisoned and being a slave. You already know. The opposite. The ops. The lower vibrational frequency that needs your fear. That needs your mental stress to feed off of it. They can't feed off of you when you're in a high vibration. Because they can't reach you. When you're in a low vibra vibration, they can feed off you like a fucking parasite. Okay? Think about this. What I'm saying to you. Alright. Messages for Divine Masculine. And this goes for everybody. Okay? Not just the feminines. This goes for divine masculines, too, because there's divine masculines out there who are doing their thing, healing, and they are with an ops, too. Okay, so somebody's going to laugh at me using that word, but that is the truth. Ops just means clear opposition. <laughs> Look, you know what to do. Trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. Look at that. Archangel Uriel. This is the light shining in the darkness. This is what is needing to be seen that maybe you weren't seeing. That's the message. Anything else that you want to say to divine masculines? I feel like that's for the collective. That's for both. Of, that's for everybody. Okay. Creative writing. Make time to write down your thoughts in a journal or pen, an article or book. Didn't I tell y'all to get your journals out? <laughs> 
Comfort, Archangel Azrael, I am with you in your time of need, helping your heart to heal. See? They're like, we got this. Okay? Right? They got the crown, whatever that's supposed to be. Okay? They got the pen. He got the light. Right? Like, learning experience. It's a learning experience. You are safe. Archangel Michael coming out yet again. I told you, Michael's strong with us, okay? He's not playing any games. I am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you, your loved ones, and home. Okay? That's a message. If you're cross-watching and you're not for this, then Archangel Michael's got a message, right? What did he say? Lower energies. I'm telling you. <laughs> so I just heard like somebody's going to think you're batshit crazy. And that's okay. You guys know I don't care. No, I don't care because in 2019, something happened to me and everything that is happening in the world and everything that is going on right now, I saw this in 2019. That's how I know I'm not crazy. And I wrote it down, but my books were stolen by someone who I won't discuss, but they stole all of my writings. I prophesied a lot of stuff. And I wrote it in two books, and they were taken from my home. So, that's how I know I'm not crazy. But I know not everybody is, is um, not everybody can accept the message. Not everybody can handle the message. Not everybody is meant to understand the message. If you don't understand what I'm saying, the message is not for you. And that's what I tell everybody, right? If you don't understand the message, it's not for you. Okay, and that's okay. It doesn't mean anything. It just means that it's not for you, okay? All right, message for Divine Feminines. Message for Divine Feminines. You're already doing it, okay? Okay. You're already doing it. So stop overthinking and keep facing your true north. If some of you are wondering now, like, oh, my God, am I doing what I'm supposed to do? Yes, you're already doing it. The initiation, okay? You've already been initiation initiated. Rite of passage, you're going somewhere sacred, okay? The initiation, you've already been initiated. You're already in. You're, you've already, you're, you got it, okay? You could have had a spiritual awakening already. You, you could have gone through a rebirth already. Um, some of you could have had a kundalini awakening already, okay? Yes, you're already doing it. Um, yeah, they just wanted me to, to say that for some of you, okay? And no, that's not evil, okay? Everything um, that was, everything that we are seeing, we're meant to see, Okay? Um, now, lower vibrational energies have tried to infiltrate this, but they're not going to win. We all know the end. They're not going to win. Okay. All right. Break the chain. Ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. Exactly. That's what we're doing, and that's what we will continue to do. Okay. Council of Light, Divine Orchestration, Helpers in the Subtle Realms. Right. There's a council of light helping us at this time. Okay. Do 
not, you have to use discernment as well. Do your own research. Do not believe everything you hear. Um, if you question me, then do your own research, right? I don't mind. I want you guys to think for yourselves. Yes. Think for yourself. That's the that's what you have to break out of. That's what you have to do. Something don't sound right, that's because it's not. Okay? I don't care how crazy people say you are and, and none of that. Okay? Message for Divine Masculine. Starseed, what lights you up? Get grounded. You need to get grounded. You also need to share your voice. Come out of the cave. Persecution expression. Start speaking your mind. Start talking about what you what you want to say, what you need to say, what you think the world needs to hear you say. Get grounded. Empaths, highly sensitive, connect, connect with nature. Okay, so you need to ground yourself at this time. Transformation. Things are changing at a cellular level. Deep healing. So, Divine Masculines, you are going through a cellular DNA change. And I've been seeing a lot of people say, oh, my God, this is Luciferian. People are changing. That is, there are two, two things happening. There is a new world, new heaven on earth trying to shift into creation, right? We're trying to bring peace on earth at the time. But there is an opposition to that. Yes, there is most definitely an opposition to that. And things are getting like this, confused. People are taking something from this and putting it here. People are taking something from this and putting it here, and they're confusing the two. And it's becoming a big, what? Ball of chaos. Because who likes chaos? You know who. That's my point. That's why you have to use discernment. Okay? That's why you have to have your own mind. You can you can be led, you can be you can be pointed to oh go read that. But you have to have your own mind. Okay. Messages for divine feminine. Your dreams need a practical plan. A personal issue reaches resolution. A new romantic cycle begins. This is a personal, so this could be personal for someone. Message for Divine Masculine. This is a long reading. I didn't anticipate this taking so long. Divine Masculine, now is the time for healing for yourself. A win-win outcome is forecast. There's a lot of Libra energy here. Expect powerful change. New moon eclipse. Didn't we have a new moon eclipse yesterday or a blood moon or something? The next new moon is December the 23rd. So you're very close to achieving your goal. All right. So what, what goal is Divine Masculine very close to achieving? This wants to come out. They want me to tell. I got to keep going until they tell me to stop. <laughs> Clarity. Clarity about what? About a past life or your wounds here. It could involve a marriage. There's clarity around what happened, what the detour was. Yeah, you're growing spiritually. This is going to this is going to change. This is going to be the point in which you change something in your life. You are an air sign, I told you. This has something to do with your twin and why you awakened in this lifetime. I feel like there is a message here that um 
somebody was messaging from ego and now you regret this, but I feel like you may ask for an apology. You may ask for an apology, you may ask for an apology or give an apology or ask for forgiveness. You could have been dealing with a third party water sign that you were understanding that you now understand or gotten clarity that this person was just trying to control you. Oh, they just wanted to handle you. This is why they rejected nurturing you. They sabotaged you and kept you in a place of confusion, but you're going to be free of this person because now you see the truth. That's what's going to lead to union within yourself. That's when you're going to be open to receiving a wish fulfillment. Mm. And what should Divine Feminine focus on at this time? Since we just did Divine Masculine. Making a decision. That's what I just saw with Divine Masculine. So that's what you need to focus on, Divine Masculine. This is you, Divine Feminine. You are at a crossroads now, too. You could also be married, and you could also be very guarded from a past life. This could have something to do with that, or in this life, or both. Okay? You need to have courage to have a new beginning here. Uh-huh. There will be a renewal with someone or something. It's like you guys are completely mirroring each other at this time, doing the exact same thing at the same time. You're an earth sign. Yeah. You are going to be ending some kind of karmic relationship, connection, or cycle. Okay? You were resisting doing this before, but you're doing it now, okay? Your fear was limiting you, okay? You were scared. You may have been scared. You may have been literally scared. Look, there's people on the roof looking in. There's people trying to grab her from the house, from the window. You may have been scared, okay? This could be some kind of a DV situation, okay? This is going to, you're going to change. Notice how she, her eye looks purple. Told you. DV. This, this person puts you in a place of being very cold. Maybe you were scared of uh, physical retaliation. What I meant by DV. Okay. Um, and this is why you were, you became very cold. And this is why you refused separation. Notice how she, this is someone you're married to, okay? This could have been someone you were married to in a past life, okay? Or in this life, yeah. You may have avoided, you were just like, you know what? I'm just going to stay in this situation. F it. I surrender. But I feel like that's changed. This person may apologize to you or you have forgiven this person and yourself. Yeah. You need to work on healing that inner child. You could have been abused as a child or witnessed this as a child, like witness your own mother dealing with this as a child. Okay. Forgive yourself for repeating this cycle. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You regret. You There's a lot of regrets that you made the same decision. It's okay. We've all did this. Not maybe this particular situation, but we've all have regrets that we made that were similar to our parents. Okay? It's not our fault. This was faded, the spirit is saying. Spirit's like, this was going to happen regardless. Okay? It needed to happen for you to learn something, for you to see something. Okay, for you to heal something. Divine timing is here. Trust that whatever this healthy connection is that is meant for you, 
is coming, okay? This person is not going to hurt you physically, okay? Or mentally or emotionally, okay? All of that is not healthy. Yeah, this will be a very balanced connection, okay? For some of you, this is a Libra, all right? This will be karmic justice coming in, okay? Remember to take care of yourself. Keep your energy levels high is what I'm seeing. Okay, that's what I have.